I drove around the city today with a longtime cab driver. My name is Mahmoud. Short name is Mohammed. I've been driving almost 20 years now. I wanted to find out what would make a taxi driver do this. <laughs> what drives someone to that point? That's too much desperate because he have not he, he he went out from his home to work, but he's not getting anything, nothing at all. When you see people is taking your food, your work, then you feel, of course, you don't know what you are doing at that time. There is rage in almost every car. The story is similar. We are losing every, every single day now. We are losing our income. With thousands of riders choosing Uber, an already battered industry is being pushed to the brink. Uh, are you of the belief that, that this problem can be enforced away? Yes, why not? If Vancouver can do it, Calgary can do it, why not Toronto? Mohammed says the city and Mayor Tory haven't gone after Uber X hard enough. Well, why they are doing like this? Let me find out the solution, if there is a solution on it. If there is no solution on it, sit with them and tell them, sorry guys, we cannot do anything. I asked Mohammed about the calculation Tory and other politicians around the world are making. Who should they listen to? A, a small group of cab owners or thousands of, of, of consumers who are using a service? Like, isn't that the choice? That's a good question you're asking me now. Mohammed insists it's cheaper fares driving people to Uber. People now, they don't know nothing, as I told you. Are they insured? No. Did they know the city? No. Are they safe drivers? Background checkup? No. But I'm saying people people know the, 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 the unknown and all of that, and they don't care. I'm saying like the market. Okay, if they, so if so they, what, what, what do you do? What, no, I mean, no, let's, there, there's one thing now. Yeah. Everybody, we are in a free city, free country. If they want to do that, it's up to them.